Well, what in the world is going on with interest rates? And I mean that globally. What in the world is going on with interest rates? Boy, I mean, just what a difference a day makes again. And we're sitting here looking at 7.08 on a survey of interest rates nationally. I mean, you can get rates that are lower, but this is where we are compared to 6.69 as early as last week. So what the heck is happening? Well, a lot of stuff going on in Europe and in Japan. Now, Europe is being squeezed uh, with an energy crisis, a severe one. Uh, Russia has cut off gas exports to Germany and to England, and uh, inflation is running very high in England. And according to um, one uh, past Treasury secretary, he came out here and said, um, the pound tumbled along with the British government bonds as international markets pushed back against the trust government's proposed mini-budget which includes both tax cuts and billions of pounds in energy subsidies to help British families struggling to pay heating bills in the face of the worst inflation in recent memory. He goes on to say, Summers slammed the budget as utterly responsible and said that a strong tendency for long rates to go up as the currency goes down is the hallmark of situations where credi credibility has been lost. He said, I'm very pessimistic about the consequences of utterly irresponsible UK policy on Friday, but I did not expect markets to get so bad so fast. Now, keep in mind, that's just an opinion of one person, uh, but the move did affect uh, the markets and, uh, um, and the markets are paying attention to it and it's driving up rates not only in England, but here, the other thing that people like to look at a lot is the uh, split between uh, the spread between two-year treasuries and 10. I won't get into the wonky details of trying to explain that. But if it spread gets down below zero, as you see here, it usually indicates a recession. And if we go down much farther below zero, it's going to be, say, it says here, financial market participants are increasingly coming to the idea that persistent inflation may produce an era of higher rates for longer around the world. Under Volcker, that was the Fed chairman back in the 80s, the Fed pushed interest rates as high as 20% in order to break the back of inflation. They did that back here. See where the yield is way down, down here, the difference below 200 right now, or I don't know, about five. So every indication is, as traders see it right now, that we are going to have higher rates for a longer, more persistent period of time. Uh, there are people out there speculating that by the time we get into 23, we're going to see rates come down to 4%, and traders are kind of shouting at us right now and saying, I don't think so. And Japan pulled a big one last week and intervenes to prop up the yen for the first time in 24 years, and they did that by dumping a whole lot of treasuries and selling dollars, and they did manage to increase the yen. It was interesting, Janet Yellen flew out there the week before, and so I guess they're having conversations about, you're going to do what? Well, let's see how that affects us. Now, how does that affect us locally in real estate? Well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that interest rates come screaming up, real estate sales come down. And when I track it on a seven-day moving average, like I do on my little handy dandy chart here you I think you could see it quicker than you can on a lot of different statistics and let me see if I can zoom in on this for just a moment show you what's happening if I can get this to work there we go zoom 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 200 percent and I'll show you that up here let me take it all the way to the top my friends slow 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 there we go we're coming down we're not coming down at a really fast clip but we were at 26.49 on the 70 moving average of homes under contract, and now we're down to 25.50. So that's 100 homes in a week. So we are definitely trending down. You can also see on the blue line there, new listings coming on the market. People aren't putting their houses on the market. The inventory is growing because nothing's moving. And uh, you can get on real estate forums on the weekend and there's people go, hey, how many people do you have at your open house? Uh, nobody. Uh, one. So a lot of pessimism out there. Uh, things happening. 
in that space and you can see here that listings under contract compared weekly is 7618 this is last week be interesting to see what happens when this gets updated again usually on saturday night but you what you want to do is you really want to pay attention to what's going on globally you know we have a tendency to live in our little bubble here and go well the fed raised interest rates by 0.75 um the treasury spending money like a drunken sailor but it's bigger than us, folks. There's a lot of things going on globally that are affecting our financial markets. And we're kind of teetering in some very difficult situations here. And the Fed's trying to bring us down to a soft landing. Europe's trying to do the same thing. They're in a worse situation than we are. What we don't want is the entire house of cards to collapse and cause us all greater pain than we uh, are told we're going to get. So um, pay attention to all of those things things that are going on not just Arizona and the United States real estate market take a look globally at what other countries are doing and how they're trying to tamp down on inflation and what the markets are telling us in our market that's going to happen to interest rates right now they're sending us a clear signal we're going to be in this for a while so stay tuned if you haven't subscribe to this channel I urge you to do so hit the bell notifications so you know whenever I have new details and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.